Okay, so let's check this out. It's been, we figure, about three years since I've been here, ish. And here we are. Ooh, wow. I asked Rob for a soldering iron and I didn't realize I was going to put him in this position. By the way, that's some nice underwear you got there. Is it? Bacon eggs and yeah, waffles. There it is. There's a croissant. Oh, all kinds of fun in your pants. I'm Mike Dimas and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hello fellow shenaniganders. Today I am going over to my buddy Rob Noel's place. The primary reason for that is that I am bringing him my big game. He is going to pack it and pallet it for me and ship it out to BC because it is going to uh, Carrie Hill out there who just purchased this and she's in the process of building and opening like a 50 pinball machine arcade called the Neon Ranch out in Victoria, BC. So this is going to a great home. Rob Noel is going to deal with all the uh, shipping shenanigans, of which there are many. He told me that he will never deal with Day and Ross again uh, just recently, and I'm like, uh, that might put a damper in my big game plans. He's like, all right, one last straw with those bastards, and then uh, I'm done with them. So. Yeah, there's always something, shipping shenanigans with almost every uh, machine. But anyway, his lineup has changed dramatically since I've been there last. It has probably been three or four years since the COVID times. I imagine 80% of the machines uh, have changed. He recently just sold a horse and bought a Wizard of Oz. It's only been there maybe a couple days, so we'll be able to check that out. He also recently purchased a Medieval Madness. I'm excited to check out the lineup. It's been forever since I've been there, so we'll see what he's got, what's new, and uh, maybe even say hi to some of the uh, 30 animals that he has. So we'll see you over at Rob Noel's. All right, here we are, Rob Noel's place. We uh, have got big game off the vehicle here, and it's getting ready to go to BC. And uh, where did this pallet come from? I just had a Wizard of Oz shipped from BC. <laughs> And the same pallet is going to be going back. BC, you're getting your pallet back. Okay, so let's check this out. It's been, we figure, about three years since I've been here, ish. And here we are. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you got two shooting games. Two shooter games. I got this from the legendary Al Freud the other day. Oh, did you really? We did a two for one swap. This was, I don't usually trade product, project games. But I gave him two projects and he gave me this working. And yeah, that's all right. It's even got a wizard mode. Does it? The ball bounces from this ding, 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 ding. ding. That's wizard mode. And Did you, you do that? And if you light all of these, you win a free game when they're ultimately randomly lit up. So getting them all there is a super jackpot. And then when they're all lit up, that is wizard mode achieved. That's Boom. right. That's right. That's and, single each, and each one will score a free game. All right, well, I guess we'll just start with Crosstown then. Instead of, I was just going to do a quick pan around like this. Whoa. Woo! Just to get a whole ambiance in here. We have to come back and play some pool again like the last time. That was fun. And obviously, drink some beer and play some pinball too. But, all right, Crosstown. let's talk about Crosstown. What is going on with this game? This got the cool back box animation, right? He's getting kicked off the subway for playing the tuba. You bastard, well, you should know officer. better. <laughs> this game was stolen by a police officer. What? In 1968 from a Chinese laundromat in Toronto. He was head of the morality squad. And on suspicion of gambling, he stole this game and took it home. He did the he, he city did. justice. He and, didn't steal it. And I got this off his daughter, who had it the entire time, knew the whole story. Oh, wow. That is incredible. We talked about Alfred Singalong. Yep. Jungle Queen. Yep. Four player. Uh, kill some monkeys. Another, uh, hey, this would also go good next to Big Game. And what? Congo, you get the whole jungle theme lineup going on here. So, yeah, this is a fun I, game, four little, flippers. Little monkeys on the, on the drop. Yeah, targets. kill monkeys. Yeah. I thought these upper, th these flippers were just going to be sort of in the way and just a novelty, but they yeah. actually come in handy. I've, I've learned to use yeah, them. Yeah, you use them. Okay. At first, they're just chaos, and yeah. then you realize there's a time and a place. Yeah, oftentimes you want to kind of avoid flippers like that, but, uh, 
They do make looks like direct yeah. shots towards the monkey. And so. it's a tip pass over to here. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yep. Also, this line is really well executed. It comes right through there smoothly to the flipper. You know, sometimes games don't have very good good, good lines. Right, because it can just yeah, straight down the middle. Yeah, off of this or straight down the middle. No, this line always feeds, which is nice. Uh, that's nice and dialed in. Okay, what is this thing? Stockade's got a stuck switch right now. Oh, uh, okay. Turn it on. You can hear it buzzing. Oh, yeah. It's not the most politically correct game. <laughs> oh yeah. You shoot Indians uh, and okay. they go, cowboy and Indian. Ooh, 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 you hit them, but there are, there is a couple of white evil cowboys as well. If that balances out the, yeah, I'd say the so. historic racism <laughs> of this game. <laughs> but what do you do with it? Like it exists. You can't smash it. No. You know, in, in some... It's just a token of the time and That's what year right. is this? Like early 70s, I imagine. Yeah. So you can see that this. That looks really cool. You back see there. this guy down low. Right there, oh, yeah, yeah okay. he pops up as a sort of hologram, and different guys pop up throughout the back of the game. Oh, that does not help. But I'm gonna turn it off. off. Yeah, that, 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 you're gonna a, burn out some coil or something, but that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We really enjoy this one. This one's a little more politically correct. Circus that's right. theme. That's right. What are we shooting here? You're shooting, uh, oh, that is really cool. It's like, right, fluorescent, glow in the dark kind of thing. But check this out in the back. See those curtains? They're gonna open after I shoot enough of these. Oh no way! It's like animated friggin' and action as well. And the guy in a trapeze is gonna go by. Wow! What year is this thing? Do you know? There you go. Look at that. They open up. Oh yeah! And then look at that. Shoot the guy in the trapeze, which is high points. Oh, there we go. That's really cool. No way. We actually play this game. It's like pretty, pretty regularly. Pretty high tech for its age. Yeah, I got this off so cool. Ben Benedict. Oh yeah, like it, the depth perception or trick is like, it looks like it's friggin' a mile deep, but I mean, yeah, it's the, one foot. And the gun is, is like a real, probably BB rifle. Right. You know, yeah, it's nice got a good wooden stock. It feels like a gun. It's got a kickback to it. Well, it does too. It's, that's cool. Isn't that's that cool. Fun. Very much so. Chicago coin. At first I thought, how many of these shooter games do I need? But it turns out it's sort of nice to have something different in the collection. Right. I, two I, is the answer. Two, and two is... <laughs> Two, is the Two is the answer. Yeah, I don't need three. <clears throat> All right, now moving on. Okay, I think you had this last time I was here, and I think you had Crosstown. Crosstown has been one of those no-sell games for me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Actually, just trying to determine what is new, what is what was here since last time, and I think there's probably only going to be about three of the games in this collection, maybe four that were still here when I was yeah. here last. Kind of fantastic, not a great game to play, a great game to fix and sell. <laughs> yeah, definitely got some fun art, very nostalgic title. Everybody remembers this game that was of the era, because they made a lot of them and yeah. sold a lot of them. And yours is actually very it's nice a, shape. It was the, one of the dirtiest games I've ever <laughs> worked on. Like it was filthy, just filthy. There's so many things I could have done to make this game more fun. Like, right. Why isn't there a spinner over here? Spinner would Just be perfect for that. Something, yep. a saucer, a spinner. A, you know. and, and you know, the rule of thumb on this game is never use the upper flipper. Because it's, it's just going to kill you. So yeah. that kind of, you know, nullifies the use of that. And you've got two flippers here on the left yeah. and nothing to shoot on the right. Right, I mean, three rollovers. Just, Yay. It's just and not a that bumper. exciting a game. But yeah, it's in beautiful shape, it's, it's really nice all over, and this is going to auction soon. Ah. Got four games going to Miller & Miller You're auction. bringing four to the auction, I'm eh? I'm bringing four since I bought Dave's spot. Well, we're going to drop off machines there potentially tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we might have to do a little video on that and uh, hype up some of these games. And if you want to buy some of these machines, you can go to the Miller & Miller auction. This one will be up there too, or no? No, this game... Uh, Post time, I didn't somebody, even know you I, had this. I think it might have been Julie who sent me a picture of this from Allentown. Corey may have sent a picture, maybe Corey sent the first picture. And it's like, great, you're buying it and bringing it back for me, right? And he's like, no. Like, you can't <laughs> buy it, show me this game, and then say I'm just right. showing you. You know, Cause it's for sale. You have like four horses right now, or, and, or is it three? And so I... Three. And so I messaged all kinds of people I knew that were Allentown, in Allentown. So every one of them, when they ran into Corey, said, are you going to buy that game and bring it back to Rob? You're going to buy that game, right? Right, right? And he's like, fine! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and it. it made its way home. That's right. That's the well, story I like to tell. It's it's horse themed. So, it, you know, it's perfect for you. It's perfect. We love the art on it. It's a beautiful game. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Back. It's like a perfect back glass. Is that reproduction? Yeah, it's or? gorgeous. So thank oh. you very much, Corey. Corey you brought it home from Allentown. You succumbed to peer pressure. Good job. Didn't mark up the price. Oh, yeah. 
foot brought it to my home. Thank oh, you, thank you, thank that's you. That's very perfect. Very nice. And then another horse theme another game horse here. Theme. We literally play this every time we come out. <laughs> oh, yeah? It looks really fun. And I think I have played it. I and... sold my Adams family. Didn't, didn't sell this. Wow. Yeah, you sold a lot of games before you sold this, I think. See, the horses go to the back. And sometimes you gotta reset this thing in here. It's and kind of like... You, uh, and then the horses move along. See, horse number two. You would never want this as your only pinball machine. Right. Because it kind of plays itself. It's kind of random. Okay. And when you play a two-player game, sometimes the other player will get all your horses across for you Good. before you've even flipped. So how do you, like... You pick a horse, like just on the side. Hey, I'm going to be horse number four, well, and you're going to be horse number well, six. Well, we always, you never play this as a single player. Player, player one is is oh, one three I five. See. Okay. Player two is two four six. Uh, and then when your horse crosses, your your target one three five will be worth a hundred points. But what we all care about most is whose horse crosses the yeah. line. Now the trifecta is when you get first, second, and third. Huh. Win show place, right. win place show, and you win on points. Right. But more or less, we care more about who wins the race. That's fun. I like that. And yes, I paid like $250 for this game or something. Oh, very nice. And, and it's one of our favorites. It's not ever going to be for sale until we have to move. It sounds like a fun game to, uh, you know, gamble some loonies on as exactly. well. Exactly. People that aren't even playing can get in on that one. Right. And then this is a clock. Well, not a clock. It looks like a clock. A metric clock. <laughs> it was an old flipperless game that someone... Put a piece of cigarette tin foil in for a fuse and melted the entire playfield. Oh, that's so nice. Like, well, it's garbage, but I can do something fun with the back glass. Yeah, preserve it and turn it into something useful. That's awesome. What Very do you think nice. of a metric clock? Ten months in a year, uh -huh. uh, t ten hours in a day, a hundred <laughs> minutes in an hour, ten days in a week. I don't know if it works, but uh, it's, it's a concept. There's 70,000 uh, cycles in a lunar solar eclipse cycle pass. Everything in tens. Something like that. There you time. go. <laughs> I just got this a couple months ago. What, your uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle? I sold a lot of games, like over 100. And one of the very few games I ever bought back for the sole purpose of just owning again. I, you know, I've had five pioneers just to, to buy right. and sell. But I bought Rocky and Bullwinkle back because I missed them. Yeah. He's One a, of the few games that came back. He came back just because we said, hey, he's fun. And it's a really nice shape, too. It's a really nice shape. I've got the topper, uh, powder coating, nice display. What I like about this game is it's a DMD game, but your, your ball times and game lengths can be similar to an EM. Right. If you've got five minutes to kill, this is, this is your <laughs> game. <laughs> and even got speaker lighting. Yeah, and oh, despite that's right. being such a friendly, kid-themed game, it's brutal. Like, it's just mean. There's Dracula speaking up. You got the animated back glass where yeah. he pulls a rabbit out of his hat at times, or uh, do, 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 do. I love the music. I have one of these in storage. So I must uh, get it out one of these days very soon. Hello there. Hey, boy. Okay, we'll have one, uh, one ball of split flip action. Watch it be like. Double score. Left flipper. Hey, oh, I'll take which that. Which is great. If you've got like 90, 90 million and then you hit double score, it's kind of unfair. Uh, that is not very uh, tournament friendly. No, no, double score. Now, if you get it early, it's not as good. Yeah, right. Uh, Night Moves has a similar feature to that, but you don't have to choose. It just will double it, whether you like it or not. Right. But it used to be Aaron's, and he said the same thing, you know? Like double so score? It's something you want later in your game than earlier because... It's going to be worth more. To, oh, no. We want to get up the left another time. All right. Well, that, we'll, would, uh, turn, that would have been the yeah. hat. Let's shut her down just to yeah. shut her up. And this one you've had for a long time, right? I traded this. I traded the Twilight Zone for a Dracula and a T2. And I, I've kept the Dracula for seven years. Well, it was one of the longest games in the collection. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think my Dracula I've had just about as long, so it says something. We often said that if we had to sell all but one game, because people always ask, what would you keep? Yeah. Give me that one. Really? Yeah, it's a wow. deep exciting Dutch, game. Dutch, you hear that? Game. He's hating on the Dracula recently. He doesn't... I, I said he needs more time on this game. When I first got this game, I wanted to hit it with a sledgehammer. Like, I <laughs> yeah. hated it. And that's when I first learned how important it was to set a game up that matches your skill level. Yeah. I didn't want multi-ball one every 20 games. I want to do the things. Didn't you 
set it up nice and friendly and nice then you got friendly. deep into the game you yeah. you got to do the thing the triple jackpot oh my uh, god it's exciting 30 million yes and when it was set up mean i hated it because it was just you know you couldn't do anything well i noticed you have the uh, standard flippers too which helps because uh, normally it has the lightning flippers on it which are like uh, right. you know an eighth of an inch shorter yeah so that's a quarter inch more gap so that helps your enjoyment of the game as well long ball save Make yeah. it, you only have to hit certain things three times instead of eight to open them. Right. You know, and the, the, the video mode on this is crazy. You get mode one shooting the vampires, oh, right. the wolves with your guns. Yep. But it gets two, three, and four. We sometimes take the glass off just to play the video. Oh, really? Because it gets really intense. Oh, I, I've like, never made it to like level two or three oh, video right. mode. Level two gives you extra ball, but level three, oh. level four is like a two minutes. Uh, like crazy. That sounds fun. Wolves coming at you. This is, uh, where did this come from? Let me think about this. Did this come from Mike Wong's collection? And then Dave Flinton bought it, that and right. then it moved on to you? And yeah. It was one of the many games I see at Dave Flinton's house that he's like, I love this game. I'm never parting with it. And I'm like, come in <laughs> three weeks. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he loves selling me games he'll never part with. Between one and, and five weeks after. Oh, yeah. That's how I got my I, I asked. family, my scared stiff. Huh. Uh, I bought a lot of games off Dave. Potentially this game. I bought Medieval Madness off of Dave. Another game he wouldn't sell until I bought it. Well, I asked him about his Baywatch. He's like, oh, it's not for sale. And then literally, <laughs> exactly. I think it was the next paragraph out of his mouth was, like, well, let's talk about this uh, Baywatch. You know, what do you got available? But this is a nice example. You got all the art blades. It's you really got. Nice. A uh, fun little hippo dude here. You got green display. This fun little around, topper. The, the thing around the display. Oh yeah, the, the speaker panel um, decal there, and, and lip, lip, flipper buttons. Nice, green legs nice as legs. well. You got some powder coated or painted legs. Even got the uh, green anodized yeah. leg bolts. It's nice. Mike this Wong is, does good stuff with his machines. Yeah. yeah. The back glass is an alternate. The original is pretty ugly. Oh, right. Alternate back glass, so too. That's true. Oh, that is nice. It is nice. Uh, I like the little snakes coming out of the slingshots. See, this that's guy a nice ball down there. And you... Oh, yeah. Right. Is that Amy the ape? Or, uh... That's right. Yeah, and you there shoot, you go. You, 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 you use the flippers little, uh... to control. The ape goes e, 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 black and bright, and you've got a spell Congo. you got cliffy protectors, uh, plastic protectors. you got got um, target decals. There's, there's a cool video mode. Uh, what's the video mode? You're digging out rocks while whitewater rafting. Oh yeah. You gotta go left, right, left, right, and it's pretty, oh, it's pretty t challenging. I haven't played that forever. That is fun. I have to see that again. It has a couple weird modes too, where the whole game goes dark. You think it's broken, and it gives you endless skill shots to try to get. Oh the, yeah. The, the, the plunge to the left out lane for twenty five. Super million. skill or something it's, like yeah, that. It's a plunge out it's got the real fun skill shot too you literally have to try and plunge it into the out lane that's right for 25 million or something crazy Which is high like risk that. if you miss you get nothing but if you just hit the, the stand-ups you'll get 10 million right and you can just do that three Pretty times easy. and yeah. get 30 million but it's satisfying to get the 25 it is it's got one of the greatest call outs in, in pinball he goes hippos i love hippos, Everybody loves the hippos. hippos! Okay, so this also came from Mike Wong, then went to Dave Flinton, and That's then right. went to you. A, Same a, kind of story on this guy. I, I thought Attack from Mars was going to end up with me this way, but he ended up swapping it out for House of Horrors. Right, to Kevin. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that'll be my next Dave Flinton purchase. Because oh. the nice thing about Dave, he goes over games with a magnifying glass. He, he's, yeah. a, he's a quality buyer, not a volume buyer. Right. He, he seeks out games in, in top shape. Well, this is a quite special addition to the collection. One of the most classic popular titles of all time, one of the most favorite games. And you said it, in all your ads and people calling you over a decade, you've never come across uh, All my wheelings and dealings over whatever, 15 years, I've bought and sold a shitload of pinball <laughs> yeah, machines. Never, I've never had this, never had a Monster Bash or a Scared Stiff. And uh, yeah, I think there's another A title that I'm forgetting. I played Monster Bash. Yes, Haven't owned a Congo. I have a Congo. I do want a Congo one day. You and Julia both showed interest in this. Should we skip over uh, The Wizard of Oz since it's the latest and come back to that? Sure. Here's the game I've had the longest of every I game. I was going to say, I remember this being in your collection last time I was here. When I got back into pinball, I bought this and a Theater of Magic off of Aaron. Oh, when okay. He was clearing out his collection. Yeah. And I remember being all excited with Theater of Magic, which I loved. I had that game for like five years. And uh, 
I was reading all about it. But then I got him home. I found myself playing Fireball. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. I love it. Look at the reds on this. This game is known for its fade. Oh, yeah. This guy looks like a Band-Aid. I've had mine faded, yeah, to Band-Aid color before. Um, but The cabinet, red. Played yeah, that's red. rare. Let's uh, take a quick peek. red. It's, this game's a kind of a, a lover and a hater type game. It's really fun to play. Maybe in a tournament, not so much. You got this spinny disc right there that's causing all kinds of chaos. It never stops spinning either. It's always spinning. The ball, it can often equally save you, yeah, but yeah. often equally screw you. It's like coming down here and then. And there's, and there's high, high slingshot. There's no in lanes. Right. And you go in and out of multi ball constantly. This was in uh, Fork River recently for about six weeks or so. Yeah. And it drove some people crazy. Oh, I hated it there, but I love the game <laughs> in general, but I, it destroyed me at Forked River. Hardest skill. Sh yes, you did better with your hat over your eyes. Remember That's that? right. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a better game with, yeah, not even looking at the flippers uh, or the game this at is all. the hardest shot in pinball, hardest skill shot. You have to make a U turn oh, right. up there and back around. It goes up yep. here, and that lights your pop bumpers and gives you 70,000 points. Some people didn't even get 70,000 points. Yeah, right. You missed that skill shot then that's easy to do, potentially, on this game. There's my high score, 7.4 oh, million. Holy cripes, how many balls you got this thing set to? That's right, 20. <laughs> there it is. No. My, John Highfield, bless his heart, took a photograph of, him, of himself next to it. At, because he thought he beat my high score because he had 800 and something thousand. He saw the eight and he got excited. I'm like, John, you're missing you're a zero. You're missing a digit there, Johnny. You're missing a zero. You're close, but no cigar. That's hilarious. Bless your heart, John. Fantastic. Fantastic. I is, think you've had this This is for a while, also yeah? a game that gets no love in the world. And I bought this game back just to own it again. And Did I play this in your house at your old house? Yes, yes. And you had no tilt bob in it? That's right. And I could throw the thing <laughs> throw around, around. And, and it was highly encouraged to throw the thing around? I've done a very serious study and I found that EMs last longer and break less when you take the tilt out because they, <laughs> they like to be shaken. I yeah, it, it like helps clean the contacts. It helps clean the contacts. <laughs> And there's the pop Here's bumper the reason alignment. Why. This pop bumper has little rubbers behind it. And you can get the ball doing like 1080s around <laughs> it and you're back in like just amazing death saves. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough and random game. You wouldn't want this in league. You've got this wonderful roulette wheel. Oh uh, yeah, and, very and much you, uh, and you, random. And you only get your bonus on collect. You never get your bonus on drain. Oh, okay. So you don't collect a bonus when you drain. You've got to build your bonus up uh, and you've got to find a way to collect your oh, bonus. That's kind of fun but and it's so random it may not be the best tournament game zero it could not be a tournament <laughs> i once sometimes you get three thousand points in this game once i went oh. into the saucer up here before i you know flipped from yeah. the plunge and it went to advanced bonus to top great that's ten thousand then it bounced around and it went in again and said collect triple bonus oh my so God. i had so i had thirty thousand points before i even flipped and what's an average game? 7,000, oh, 28, and 8. Uh huh. So, yeah, I had 30,000. Wow. Yeah. So it's okay. a bit random. It's a slot machine, basically. Yeah, it's a slot machine. Oh, Strange World. You still have this. Uh, I know it's up for sale. Yeah, but, I didn't uh, get as lucky as you did with yours. Yeah, I sold mine for, ooh, what was it, 3,500 bucks US. US or something like I that? I shipped it for you to California. And it, the poor dude paid like another 1,500 US to, <laughs> to ship, ship it. it. But to got, California. Yours was a nicer shape than mine, but this one's nice. Yeah, this is uh, how many of these did they make? It was like under 300 it or something? It was 675. Oh, is that what but it is? I don't believe it. This oh, game okay. pops up just way too often. For, for, for yeah, locally, I don't know what it is, if it's just an Ontario thing, but yeah. Unless they all came to Ontario. I've had I'm one, you've had very, one, Mitch, Mitch has two. had like two. This is all within an hour like yeah, of each other. Time. Like, How is this possible if they only made 675? But, but the, who the knows, one, that's what the book says. The one that we had here that, from you, I set up. Oh, right. Before shipping it. That's right. And I was all excited about it. And it, the gameplay didn't really turn me on. And then I bought this one. Came from St. John's, Newfoundland, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah great story. And uh, I found myself really enjoying the gameplay once I got to know it better. Right. Uh, I, I, my, I always say that this has the, like, closest to the flipper target, yes. maybe, in pinball um, for an EM. Like, this shot here, like, look at the angle. That's the, pretty tight. What angle is that? I mean, that is the That's tightest right. angle shot. Even, it's just pretty much the same on that side, too. And it's a simple process. But it's a really fun game. You need to light up a row of numbers. You can either set it across or, or down. And then when you do, the corresponding numbers light up for 5,000. It's yeah. a high-scoring game. And it sounds really simple, but it's chaos because, again, no in-lanes, uh, a high slingshot, and just right so like for example you need to hit 
like if you want to go for all greens, you got to hit this switch, That's this right. switch, this switch, and this rollover. Which is tough to hit. To get a bingo. And okay. then... Then those corresponding numbers will be... All these red in front of the greens will That's light. Right. Yeah. For 5,000. And then, yeah, same for in, white in, and yellow. In three ball, two and three are linked, which is common in... in oh, EMs. is it? Oh, you have it on three ball? It's on three ball. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got my Dracula on five ball, and this on three ball. <laughs> yeah, that's very bizarre. <clears throat> very <clears throat> strange yeah. of a world indeed. Yeah, but what a beautiful game. So I've got it for sale for big money, but... Yep. We'll, see if well if you want to buy a strange world, it's, it's, contact it Rob. Rare. And then there's a couple more over here. What do we got? I don't usually put games in the stage area. Yeah, right. This is this is the whole band area. We don't What's your band called again? The Groove. The Groove. This is uh, where you practice and whatnot. We're playing East Side May 3rd. Hey, there you go. My birthday, and we're playing uh, the closing night of Pride this year. Oh, no way. That's going to be a good show. May 3rd? Well, we don't practice here anymore. The birthday? No, my birthday. All right. What do we got here? Well, I've got Solar. these as part of the Medieval Madness deal. Right. Uh, I bought... Three games? Was it four? You, I, yeah, three EMs and Medieval Madness. You went to just buy one machine, and oh. Dave upsold you a friggin' he, four pack. He upsold me a four pack. <laughs> he wanted the, some gone, and I gave me a better price on on everything. And I'm going to keep the Abracadabra, but yep. I'm going to sell the Solar Solar City. This is uh, is it currently listed? I took all my ads down because oh, okay. I've got four games going to auction. All right, so this will be at the Miller and Miller auction. This Solar City is really nice. Like, it looks, looks nice. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, like... It's hard to find them this nice. I don't see a whole lot of wear. A tiniest, tiny, tiny smidge around the one insert, it. and that is about all I can see. Five year old mechanical toy and people upset. Do you know what gets me about people in pinball? We all know what's with them. They obsess about detail like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Their clothes are terrible. They need a haircut. <laughs> their car is filthy. Their house is a dump. Right. But they can't sleep at night if there's oh. this tiny scratch on a drop if target a, on a 50 year old game. A little ball swirl on the yellow, you then they, they, no, sleep no sleeping. New play field. It's like, dude, <laughs> buy some new shoes. <laughs> uh, so Abracadabra, this is a cool game. Symmetrical layout, Gottlieb, probably what, 1975 or so. Yeah. Really good old wedgie. This is a nice shape, he's a mean old wizard. There is a game called Wizard. Yeah. That is Abracadabra, but it's like a European version and it oh, has really? a different rule set. And it's actually a way better rule set and really fun. And it was at Yegpin on the stage, and I think it was in the finals and it was in the tournament. And when I drew the game, I'm like, oh, I gotta go play Wizard. I'm looking for Bally Wizard. And I'm like, right, what, right. what the F? Oh, there's a wizard? <laughs> this wizard. this, this isn't that. wizard, this is Abracadabra. Yeah, check that out. It's actually got a really fun rule set. You can get hundreds of thousands of points on it. And uh, yeah, there you know, the more you know. I can score higher on this game on three ball than you can on five, counterintuitively. And the reason is you only have to get one set down. Uh, okay. And the center will re set them back up. Right. On five ball, you've got to get both sets down before you hit the center target to pop them back up. So, because well, once, once the drops are down, there's not a whole lot to shoot. So you really want those drops up. So a three ball you can score. And they, every time you get one, two, three, and four, you advance the value of the bonus. And then the corresponding light like, see that light there? Yeah. That will be 5,000. Right. <clears throat> and if it's down, it's not worth anything. So you need to get that. Well, it's cool that they actually change the rules for when they set the three ball and five ball, that they don't do anything. You know, they actually do something other than just change the number of balls That's per right. game. They change the rules it, to it, match. It links two and three. Right. Which is gets you there quicker. Yeah, up there. And yeah. if you get one, two, three, four, it's also an advance of your bonus value. And then your drops, as I said, only need one side down to reset. Well, I certainly cool, am not yeah. going to be able to sleep tonight because this plastic is on opposite that plastic. <laughs> That's right. So, <laughs> game over. Game over. Can't sleep at night. No, I'm done. All right. Oh, wait. Gorgar in the middle of the room, too. He's in the middle of the room because I've run out of space and he, I'm going to take him. You might even help me. We're going to take him apart today. Oh, are we? Okay. I'm going to put four games in the horse trailer. Right. This is the nicest unrestored Gorgar I've ever seen. Getting roped in, I feel like. Party? This also Party? came from Dave Finn. <laughs> oh, did it? A long Let's throw on the light here. Oh yeah, wow. This game is really known for play field wear. Oh yeah, this is usually just torn right up. Yeah. This, is, this almost looks like a hard top. And it's not, it's original. Wow. Dave Flitton once again, he's yeah. like, Rob, you, it's the nicest one I've ever seen. Like, it's like you the say pinball all, whisperer. He says that all the time, but it's true. <laughs> There's the difference between when Dave says it's the nicest one I've ever seen. Look at the reds here. Oh wow. That guy's usually always worn. I put new Good Wolfpack thing. displays in it that oh, are nice. really nice. Yeah. I love the mirrored back glass effect. Yeah. Yeah, this is a beauty. It's a beauty. 
And uh, you're keeping this one, or is, did you say this I'm one's going? With this one. Oh yeah, okay. I, at auction, there's a couple games that'll have a real premium to them. Like we yep. saw crazy prices for That's that Black true. Knight and things. I, I swear this would have gone for ten grand <laughs> if it was in the last auction. Black Knight was like thirteen thousand dollars. It was crazy. It was nuts. So I think Captain Fantastic and Gorgar hopefully will create some buzz uh, okay. in this auction. Yeah, right? yeah, that will. And I'm gonna add Jungle Queen. Yep. And who else? Maybe, not single. Oh, uh, Solar, Solar City. City. Solar City, yeah. yeah. You could bring Strange World if you wanted to, but that's kind of a gamble. Yeah. So. It seemed out greater. I got him recently <laughs> at an online auction. He's cool. I paid $65. Hey, there you go. Okay, but we, lest we forget, we still have the newest, shiniest oh object God. in the room. You're almost going to wrap this up before coming here. If you ask me today. Yeah. What's the greatest pinball machine in the history of the world? <laughs> I would tell you it's Wizard of Oz. Like well, that's the state I'm in right now. Yeah. Uh, and it's weird. You're in the honeymoon state. I am absolutely in the honeymoon state. This game is packed full of stuff. Uh, and I, I think people who say they don't like it, because some people don't like this game, it doesn't get the, the best love. Well, it's kind of clunky, that's why. I'm like, the people who don't <laughs> love it don't understand it. Well, you know. I believe in definitives. I'm not one of these people who thinks everything's a matter of opinion. I'm like, there are uh, this, some things whoever's are right. opinion of this says it's clunky and, and unfun wrong. is simply wrong. Some things are right and some things are wrong. <laughs> and then not liking this game is wrong. There's so much fun stuff in this game. It's crazy. Like the opportunity to save your ball there. Have you ever yes. escaped out of there? Because there's like five tiers. You it's, gotta it's so cool. Hit all these targets. Yeah. Then you get a chance to save your ball. And, but it goes kind of brown. And the tone changes. And, oh, the, yeah. and the mood changes. And first you got a light rainbow. Then you got to get... Right? Once yep. you, you got to hit all the rainbow then targets. Then you got to hit this guy. Right. Then you got to hit this crystal ball. Mm -hmm. Then you got to hit this guy again. Then you got to hit the crystal ball. And then you, your ball gets saved. And then maybe up the ramp to, for the final. And then you can save your ball from the outlane if you can right, like, but it's basically a, complete a mini wizard mode but, but the <laughs> to get but your the, ball yeah, back. But the tone is so different oh, yeah? when you're doing it. Like I say, the game goes brown. And then the other one is Toto, which is much easier. Right. When, when, when you drain that way, if you've hit all four rollovers, all you have to hit is that right. Right. Ramp. And uh, you, you got the spinning safe. house the and house the flipper here. You got two upper play fields. This one, you bang away on the doors. The doors open. You put the ball in there and you uh, save Dorothy. There's a monkey that comes down. Oh right, flying like monkey, dude. This flying monkey comes down and picks a ball up that's that's locked with a magnet down there. And you have all the upgraded lamp boards. Yep. Oh, and don't forget the witch, witch that comes, comes up she, out of the play field. She pops up and down out of that play field. The crystal ball has different images in it. Oh yeah, that's really like, cool. You see different things come and go. So if you like toys and games, which I do. You know. this, this is a true world under glass. Like, just look at all these trees for the pop bumper caps. Like, you, that's you, amazing. You know what's a cool feature too? You can, if you hold both flippers, you disengage the bumps. Right, so that it has a more likely of a chance to go down that's here right. to collect whatever you want to collect. Or if you're in a hurry to get the ball and it's up here. You, you do it as well, and the oh, ball okay. will then drain if you really need to shoot that ramp to sit, you know, like in the Toto mode. Yeah, you that's, a, that's to... not something that I know that's ever been done before. To yeah. disengage the pop bumpers disengage with your Disengage the flippers. pop bumpers for a strategic advantage. We got one, two, three, four, five flipper game. Yeah. It's just packed full, so I'm glad you're happy with this game. There's another mode where you get double the score, but weak flippers. Oh, right. This, and there's also like um, no hold flippers. Yeah. There's, isn't there some sort of um, all dark mode or something? Absolutely. And there's modes I still have yet to discover. Right. It's just really cool. This will, like if you're actually trying to progress through the game, this will keep you entertained for a while because <laughs> there is a lot to it. Shall we finish on a, you playing a quick game of this? Or if you have the most epic game of your life, then we could do that too. But uh, I room. believe this was Jersey Jack's first game, wasn't it? It was. And I think they, they did things that no one's done and, and if they had, no one had done. And now they've done it. They set the standard. They were the first North American company to use a, an LCD screen. Yep. It was, I guess, a European company had done it. I didn't realize that. In 2010. Oh, okay. But, you know, it's like the World Series. I wonder yeah. what game that was. Yeah, I read about it, but I didn't... Uh... Oh, ball one locked. Uh, okay, so yeah, and then eventually Stern is like, uh, you know, we're falling behind here. We have to come up with an LCD screen ourselves, but it took them many years to do so. What year is this game? 2013. 
All right, and then the first LCD screen for Stern, I believe was maybe 2016. So Stern took a few years yeah, to catch up. that's a while. And it's just a small screen too. This is the almost the entire size of the back box. And it does all kinds of different things. Like right now it's sort of in an information mode, but it also does all kinds of crazy dances, depending on what you've got going on. And I see yours also comes with a topper, so that's a nice little bonus. And there's one of these images in the crystal ball. Yeah, it's got the 2.0 lighting. They had, they, they had troubles with their original LED. Yeah, static electricity would cause the lights to do all funky things or something like that. Are you up top right now? Here we go, up top. Rescue! The return spring on that is either broken oh, or Oh, yeah. Here we go, here's my that. last lock. Watch the back. Oh, here we go. This is cool. Nice. Whoa, it's like this IMAX experience. Multi ball. All right. And the RGB lighting throughout the play field. That was kind of one of the industry Crazy. first, I believe. Crazy. I like the two little lights above the uh, rollovers at the top. You know, right. You know, in a lot of games, you got to bend around to see if you can see them. Yeah. Try to figure out which rollover you want. These little lights right here. Yeah. They, they, you can, you look at that, not the rollover itself. It's kind of like theater of magic where you just look at the uh, the mirror at the back That's to right. see the uh, rollovers. See this? I got the, oh, I missed oh, it. Oh, upper spinning house. spinny house thingy. If you wanna play, Is there a different image in there yet? Oh, here we go, here we go. Keep it up. Ooh, munchkin, munchkin frenzy. frenzy. All switches score big points. Rainbow targets increase the switch value. Single ball mode, it looks like. Yeah. It's, uh, you got like a whole minute of this mode, it looks like. The flames oh, on the what back. Was check, that? Out the, check out the back. Oh, very cool. I also changed some settings to make it really easy. Oh, good. Some people play this game with no ball save. Yeah. But Christine was getting a little annoyed because it was being mean to her. This was like a, a holy grail game for her. Yeah, so right. Last night I went through and just changed everything to super easy for a bit. Oh, nice. And uh, gave herself an eight-second ball save. But it was just like, you've got to be kidding. Then you can actually progress through the game a little bit. Some people say because you have the option of saving with a Toto save. Yeah. Or the, uh, whatever you call that. State Fair. State Fair. <laughs> oh, uh, there's no place like home is what that's called. Oh, okay. Right? There's no need for ball save. It's like, yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm having a good ball here. All right. What are you, uh, do you know what you're going for now? Here it is, try and save it. Oh, I need one more. Oh, yeah, oh, damn. I missed the one. But it's, it's, it, it keeps track of it. I only need the one oh, more Oh, it time. saves that progress. It saves that oh, progress, okay. yep. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. I love the low scoring, too. The, the ruby slipper, flipper toppers are cute. That's uh, factory as well. Right, all of this is 67,000 points so far. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't love about Jersey Jack machines. It just feels like you're missing a digit. Well, it's all just, I mean, look at those games, like when you play uh, Attack from Mars, you, a, yeah. you get a billion points in league, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna win. Right. And then you realize that, you know, you come in 10th with a billion points. It's all relative. It seems like a lot of zeros. Two. It's like some sort of third world country's economy where they've got way too many zeros on their, in their currency. Yeah, there's like some Zachariah EM where you can get millions of points. Which is That's kind right. of the opposite of this modern, you know, That's right. LCD game giving you thousands of points. Yeah, I can but, disengage that. Oh, you can disengage up there too? Yes. See, that's really handy if you want the ball in a hurry. What are you disengaging up there exactly? There's a pop bumper. Is there? Oh, right? okay. Sorry, I keep rubbing by your hand off my penis a couple times there. So yeah, you disengage that and you get the ball back faster. Okay. I also moved these posts last night. Oh yeah. There's a post there yeah. and a post here. Because these, these up, right? And so you have a better chance of saving that. That post was wide open. Yeah. And so was that one. So that gave us a little more a little Could more nudge longer, to keep that ball longer, alive. Uh, ball times. Greatest game in the history of the universe. There it is. So obviously you're very happy with your purchase. Until yeah, now. Until then. Damn thing. <laughs> All right, there, there you, you go. go. Of Oz. All right, well. But yeah, there's a couple of modes you haven't seen yet. There's a lot of modes. Oh, yeah, I'm yet. sure there's tons for you to explore on yeah. this. You've only had this, what, two, three days? 
I set it up yesterday. You set it up yesterday? Oh, wow. Watch this. All right. Let's do something fun. I like fun. Anybody else like fun? What are we gonna do? Get to the wizard mode by our fingers? No, we're gonna do this. Oh, the, yeah, okay. This is how you save your ball. There we go. The multi-stage, except, yeah, okay, here we go. So, gotta hit all of these targets to have the chance to save your ball, and Rob is not even gonna be able to do it. Wait, is that the first step? Oh, no, first step is, oh, I think a ball saved me. Oh, uh, okay, so we gotta go down the out lane again. We're gonna restart this. Okay, there we okay, go. There we go. It so it, 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 it begins now. now. There we go. See, oh, the that's click cute. Three times, that's really and cute. And it goes kind of dark. Look at that. It's all kind of brown. And the back glass uh, is black yeah, and white. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I was just the first to... thing you got no, to do. No, that's not the first I, thing. I got, I got a light rainbow. Yeah. Okay, the, you got to hit left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those targets. And now it says shoot this dude. Crystal ball. And the dude. So I hear the music. It's all kind of spooky. There's that. And this is all on a timer too. See the crystal ball has got the shoes going. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now this dude, we got him. Now this dude again. Do you need to hit it twice? I think it's more than once. Yeah. Now that's flashing, so it's over there. Is it like it's, a, look, it's, still like it's not registering or something? Oh, it is. Yeah, that seems excessive. Many people say they've never achieved this. This just doesn't seem right though. It, it shouldn't have to hit that that many times. Well, I could probably adjust it. Maybe, like, it doesn't seem like, this one's solid, so it's like you hit that. This one doesn't feel like it's, uh, I can't reach. But I've done it. Maybe it's that switch there is not registering. Wow, well, is something not registering? That's yeah. tragedy. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think it's taking you 100 shots of that guy. See that? I don't think that's registering. We'll have to adjust that switch. But now we can't show the whole friggin' way of saving the ball. And even it, pressing all down all the way didn't do it? Yeah. Well, you know, we can uh, just pause and come right back. Here we go. All right, we found ourselves doing some major surgery here. Check out the uh, service menu here. This is the switch matrix. We've learned that blue is good. Green means something that is activated. Red means something that is not working. Um, we figured out that the reason this switch wasn't working is because the spinner switch was not adjusted very well. And we think that the spinner is what registers that shot. So the spinner now works. And the return spring on this guy is definitely off. So we're going to try and fix that while we're here. You can see the return spring right there. So. I'm gonna try and take off this wall and put that spring back. Find this left orbit enter switch. I mean, here's left orbit made, okay? See that? But you shoot it all the way around. We can't find that switch, but we're gonna find it. We're determined. So we're gonna take off this wall, fix this flipper, that. tilt fireball, my favorite tilt call out in all of pinball. I love that. All right, so we'll report back shortly and then we're friggin' going to no place like home. Well, there's your issue. That spring sheared straight in half. So Robin Wells gonna find a new one and get that upper flipper back in action. Ooh, the box. There's some springs. <laughs> Okay, I think we might be able to make something like that work. We'll find something in this box. Here's the oh, here's, uh, nice, here's the other good. half of the spring. Check this out. <laughs> this looks close. Ah, yeah, that's it. Boom. All right, that should work. All right, check this out. This spring was broken, and it worked when it came, so this is no fault of uh, Curtis. Yep, Curtis, you're off the hook on this one. <laughs> it worked on day one and broke on Look day two. Look at that. Two. Good to go. All right. Wizard of Oz is happy again. We just went through a few little tweaks. As I said before, the flipper's all happy now. This yellow target was just kind of sticking out for some reason. And actually, it turns out all these targets, almost all of them, the, the screws were all loose. So we tightened all those up. Really loose. This one was just bent out for some reason and uh, took us like five tries, but we got it nice and happy and symmetrical now. 
there was a few switches that hadn't been registered in a while, a couple that were a little bit sticky. We figured out the spinner, human burgers. We figured out the spinner had just been hit over the years and the whole arm had moved back and that's what the spinner was catching on. That's why that switch wasn't registering. But now look, yeah. So now we can try and uh, do the no place like home ball save. We went on quite the tangent there. We've been working on this for like an hour just learning the menu system and figuring stuff out, but okay. Phase one, hit all five targets on your, as you drain, but you know, you gotta use the assist of the pop bumper, right? And you can nudge the machine to try and get some extra action in there. So we think we hit all targets, now we drain. And, oh, we're still, uh, it's still ball save is on, that's why. All right. Here we go. Take five. No place like home ball save. Demonstration. This has got to be it. Is this it? Yes. Hey, it's brown mode. There we go. Okay. So, Rob's running away. I'm not sure where he's going. Ah, getting the ambiance going. Yeah, there we go. All right, here's the ball. And first phase of saving your ball is to, uh, all, none of these targets are registering now. We broke it. What the hell did we do? Oh no, we broke every single target. All right, we'll be back. It, it's that's how I roll. That's the shenanigander way. We 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 straighten out that target. It was freaking cosmetically beautiful, and then not a single one of the switches worked. We broke it, and. Uh, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, I usually have one step forward and six steps backwards, and that's where we find ourselves. I would say Here's that, the answer right that there. Before, that when you're making a demo video and you just have, like, the worst ball ever. Right. You don't, you're like, you don't go, oh, I've got to try it again. I guess. You're like, oh, worst ball ever. Yeah, just play it out. Play it as it lies. All right, so we're going to solder this wire back on, and uh, then Bob should be our uncle. I asked Rob for a soldering iron, and I didn't realize I was going to put him in this position. By the way, that's some nice underwear you got there. <laughs> I like to have it on today. Oh, yeah. Legs and yeah, waffles. There it is. There's a croissant. Oh, all kinds of fun in your pants. All right, there we go. Wire is soldered back on. This guy right here. Might have been on the brink and uh, mucking around in here. Uh, we must have broke it right off clean. So We had them all lined up nicer than they've ever been. Oh, yeah. They didn't work, but they were lined up nicely. Uh, that's what you call the form over function. Okay, so. We'll put this down and try this, uh, take 10. Okay, this is it. If you're still watching, then you're a big winner. But this is, we're gonna wait for ball save. There's no place like home, take 46. Are you ready for it? This is how you get your ball back if you drain at the left out lane after hitting all of these five targets. You gotta go to rainbow land. Yeah, I got a spell rainbow. It's got very cute sound effects. Okay, then we hit this guy on the right. He registers. Now that we know the spinner on the left now registers. Now, complete lit shots. You probably haven't got to this phase yet before because that switch was not working before. So you gotta hit the right orbit. Now you gotta hit the left orbit. Which, there we go, and then the final shot, this is like a little mini wizard mode, boom, just to get your ball back. Look at that. There it is. The return of color. Boom. The gray zone is gone. Finally, we did it. Just took 46 takes. All right, so I was just about to leave and Rob Noel's like, hey. Do you want to help me break down a machine? Wait, that's not how it happened. Like, oh yeah, I'll help you break down Gorgar. You said you brought me on some help. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's the other way around. Like, okay, oh, yeah, Gorgar's done. All right, I'm out of here. Like, wait a minute. What about this machine? Oh, all right. And then what about Captain Fantastic? And what about Jungle Queen? So there it is. Packed up four machines, ready for the auction. I've got Mike's keys in my pocket. I'm not giving them to him, so all <laughs> Oh shit, I ain't going anywhere, right dingers? Alright, you help too, good doggy.